Hello, in this video I will show you how to use Blob Fusion add-on. It is add-on for Blender 3.3 only and it is for character base mesh creation. It is using just two primitives. One is the sphere primitive and one is the capsule primitive. So in my opinion this is really all you need to get a decent looking base mesh. And now I will show you how to create example character from scratch. To use the plugin, just open right side panel, go to Tools, Blob Fusion, and click Plus. This will create the domain for, for the blobs. So if I use Shift A add blob, uh, you will see we have the blob created. You can use E to extrude this down. And uh, notice that if I move the fields empty, all the other will follow because add-on is automatically creating the child and parent structure. If you want, you can switch to free move mode and this will allow you to move independently each of the capsules. The add-on will override some hotkeys and you can see the list in here. If you want to use the default hotkeys, just switch from Blob Fusion tool to the default selection tools. Uh, so we can now maybe extrude the legs uh, again using uh, E and then extrude the hands like so. And to enable symmetry, just click the mirroring icon in here. The extrude tool is the most useful one, but we can also use subdivide. So just select one of the capsules by selecting two empties that define the capsule. Press W to subdivide, like so. You can repeat this on the legs. So just select the capsule, press W and subdivide, like so. We can also duplicate any selected capsules. So let's duplicate this part using uh, Shift D, like so. And you can remove any capsule that you want. So uh, let's say I don't want this connection in here. So I will press X, remove, and now it is no longer connected. And we can now modify the position, location, and rotation of those empties to make it look more like the character that you want. So all you really need, need is to extrude. Uh, duplicate, subdivide, and delete to get the basic shape of your character. Now I will show you how to use the spheres to add some uh, fake volume masses to the character. So you just uh, shift D to duplicate some of the empties. It will create the sphere uh, blob and then you can use this blend factor to blend it more into the character body. And just remember that the original empty that you used for duplication will be used as parent for the duplicated object. We can repeat this on the leg. And uh, the more of the spheres you will add, the more your character will look more realistic because it is all about adding the affecting the the muscles with those spheres. I also wanted to show you two helpful uh, hotkeys. So first one is uh, aligning to the parent. So let's say I scale this on the local z-axis, but I want this local z-axis to point toward the original empty. You can use Alt Shift R and it will always point to the to its parent. And another helpful uh, shortcut is Shift V. With this you can slide uh, towards or away of adjacent uh, empties. So uh, let's now define this muscle in here. Maybe increase the blend slightly. 
There is also the connect tool. So maybe if I duplicate the sphere in the bottom to create the palm, I can just select uh, two empties and press F to connect them like so. And now I wanted to show you other tools that can be useful from time to time. One is to apply symmetry. This way, if I switch to forward kinematic, you can model a character in a non-symmetrical uh, way. Just note that the amount of capsules and spheres is duplicated uh, twice, so the performance may be uh, uh, lower. And when it comes about performance, uh, the best way to optimize performance is to get lower resolution. And the second best way is to reduce the bandic box uh, size of the domain. So if I scale this maybe twice or three times, you can expect uh, twice faster calculations. So now if I move the character, you can see it is way faster. And if you want to go to the extreme, you can completely remove the left part by shrinking the domain like that. And then you can bring back the other side by using the mirror modifier with bisect. So this way the calculations are done only on the right side and it is very fast uh, to work this way. One useful workflow that you can use with Blob Fusion is splitting the domains. So, for example, let's say I want to model the fingers, but uh, the problem is that they are uh, quite small. So, uh, we, because the low resolution of the body domain, we won't be able to see any geometry uh, generated. And uh, to work around this, Instead of increasing resolution to the whole bar character, we can just select the hand and then uh, separate selected into new domain. Let's rename this domain to hand, increase the resolution in here. And now you see uh, only the hand has the bigger resolution. Uh, anytime you want, anytime you want, you can join the fingers back into the main body using the join into domain option. And because the hands are not big, we can in reduce the domain size to the place where the hands are located. The final step would be to apply this modifier for sculpting. So uh, you can just press in here, finalize blob it will convert the mesh and create duplicate that is ready for sculpting. And you can repeat this step for the hands or select the hands domain and just finalize. But then you would have to match those meshes together, maybe using Boolean. But instead you can maybe join the hands into the body using the join into domain. Then select target domain body OK, and because body has lower resolution, the, we cannot see the fingers. So I will bump up the resolution. And now if I finalize, we, have, we will have one mesh that can be sculpted. Uh, that covers the basics of the usage of the plugin. I hope you will find this useful.